If you are anything like me, then you love making work fun. And the same is true when it comes to teaching students. Well, I'm going to show you some of my very favorite things that I love to have as desk accessories. And guess what? They don't have to be accessories just on your desk. Add them to your student's writing center. Add them to a different learning center station. It's definitely something that mixes up the work and it makes learning fun. Very first thing are sardine paper clips. I know you're thinking to yourself, sardines, paper clips, what do they have to do with each other? Absolutely nothing. That's the reason why I love them so much because this is a cute reusable sardine tin, but you have really cute paper clips on the inside. I love the bright colors of them. If you love pencil cases like me, uh, then you will love this one. Lots of times pencil cases can be quite boring. Um, there's no thrill to them, but I love these because they are in the shape of real objects. So take a look at this. This is in the shape of a quart of milk, but it comes in a variety of different colors and I just love the way it looks. I just thought it was so cute. So I just added this to my station too. Um, I love this tape measure. Sometimes you need to measure things and I hate running around the classroom and trying to find a ruler um, at a very quick instant. So I thought this was very adorable. I saw this inside of a, an art store and basically it's a tape measure and I like to keep this with me at all times, but it's in the shape of a cute cat and I love cats. We also have page tabs. So I know page tabs, yes, but I really love the way that these look. They're really cute. So if you need to save a page or bring back students to another page inside of a book, I thought this is a cute way to do this. All of this brings me to my favorite thing of all my desk accessories, and that's this glue right here. I know you are thinking to yourself, this could not possibly be glue. This has to be fingernail polish. Absolutely not. Well, the thing I love about this is that it's shaped like it is inside of a finger polish bottle, but the bottle is plastic and just like any other type of glue, it wipes onto surfaces without a problem. Then there are pencil cases. You know, again, you can use a pencil bag, but I really love these. I think I got this one right here from Blick, but then I've also gotten some from Starbucks Reserve as well. In addition to that, who would not love a pencil cover. So I like to put these on the ends of erasers. So they cover up the erasers and you have to take them off, but some of them are shaped like bottles of ketchup. Some are shaped like ice cream sundaes or even like water bottles. I thought that they were so adorable. Okay. Now I know you're thinking to yourself, what is this on the screen? Well, you just noticed a bunch of pencil shavings. We just got finished talking about like the shavings from an eraser or the scraps from an eraser. But this cute little hand-powered machine picks up the eraser shavings. It's really cute. I love it. I would say this is probably my second favorite of my office supplies. Now I want to show you something that really goes with the whole idea of being undercover. You know, if your students like the idea of being a secret agent or something like this, these will definitely do the trick. So these are pen shaped scissors. Yes, I know it looks like a cute pen, but it's not a cute pen. Once you open it up, you'll see that they're actually scissors. And then in addition to that, you'll also notice the staple list stapler. The thing I love about this is not only does it go and does it punch a hole in it, like I've seen a few other staple list staplers do, but it nicely makes a tab that inserts inside of another tab, really keeping your paper secure. I think you can staple up to five sheets of paper at a time. Well, I would highly encourage you to definitely check out these products. Most of these products I did get from Amazon. And then I think maybe about one of them or two I did get from eBay. So I will have the links at the bottom. Make sure you feel free to check out my store, check out the rest of my videos. I think you'll find some very interesting videos as well as some really cool products that can help you with your homeschooling or with your classroom teaching.